uh, some of the recommendations that have come up, as it presently is now, yeah. the mines, the steel, that mine sector, it's under the purview of the federal government. Now, some have wondered, now, if you come up with that decision, yes, uh, let them handle it. They also ask, ecological fund. There's a certain percentage that goes to ecological fund. Yeah. There's a lot of complaints today. States are complaining, look, they need the federal government's presence. It's not existent. The yeah. Senate Committee on Environment also complaining about the same thing. Yeah. So how did the conference view that? Won't all of these sectors, won't the same fate befall some of them? Well, you see, if you are looking at Nigeria within this context, all those fears are real. But in the new Nigeria that you are recommending, there are so many checks and balances that were also put in place. For, for instance, I mean, I told you that we, we're taking away the immunity clause, so that means that people are much more careful now, if these are uh, become concernized, to know that, look, whatever you do, you don't have immunity to engage in corruption. We have put tougher laws on corruption. In fact, there was a certain area where we talked about the fact that, uh, unlike the existing thing that under our judicial now that, look, the now that if you are accused of an offense, you are presumed innocent until you are found guilty. In corruption case, we've gone as far as saying that you are presumed guilty. <laughs> but it's you, you have to prove your innocence. <laughs> Isn't and that contradictory? Yeah, because so, what kind of jurisprudence are we practicing there? Innocence of the proven guilty or once, guilty? Once, the once, there's a, once there's a prima facie of corruption against you, as far as it's the, onus, the onus of innocence is on you who have been accused. Because look, we can no longer treat this thing with kick gloves. People, you see, we have seen what happened over the years. People are charged to court on 200 counts charge. And when they are coming out of the court, they are smiling. They are even giving an interview on the way forward for the nation. Because they know that nothing will happen. We have all said that if agencies suspect that there are certain assets that belong to you that you cannot give account for, there is a place to prosecute, to charge. Won't these recommendations be dead on arrival? These politicians will throw this out. Which one of them wants to go to jail? That is, that, that's why I say that, look, it's, it's, a, it's not about the civil society, about the polity, about all in the process. Politicians on their own. Park or is nothing than what demand. I remember in, in a, when the late President Yadwa was ill, and nobody was not sure he was alive. The question says that when that happens, the Vice President is the next person. Was that going to happen until we took to the streets in Lagos, Abuja, and the rest of them before they found the doctor of necessity? So, park or is nothing on its own. Mr. Dumaki, yeah. if I may come in here, there was, there was a time the constitution was going to be um, worked on, yeah. and a proposal was sent to the state assemblies for them to get autonomy, that the state assembly should be autonomous. And the local government. And no, the local government should be autonomous. And they turned it down. They themselves no, the turned it down. No, the assembly. No, 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 wait. The local government um, chairman local government autonomy, yeah. turned it down. I mean, the state assemblies turned it down on their own. And you think this will work with these recommendations you're coming in? You think they cannot be influenced to turn it down? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That in fact, it was even financial autonomy for state assemblies that the state assemblies themselves turned down. Okay. And what is this for that? At the moment, there's too much power in the hands of the executive. All, all the assemblies, most of the majority of the assemblies are in the pockets of the governors. So it was those governors who asked them to turn it down. Because today, the forms of assembly of local government and the rest are clean and rest, the joint account. The so governors. what makes you think the politicians will not influence the people to, re to refuse some of these recommendations? This is, this, is, this, is, this is one thing that's happened at this conference. You see, the reason why this conference was different from other conferences is that the influence of the governors was not as, as, as strong as was in the 2005 conference, for instance. Uh, the idea of uh, having nationalities, having their delegates, and nominating people from professional bodies and the rest overwhelmed what the governors could have done at this conference. Even though they had their delegates. But they had their delegates. But they, but, but they could not control it the way they controlled it since 2005 conference, where virtually all the delegates were either appointed by the president or the governors. So that's, that space for the civil society, is what I'm talking about now, to get these things. Because if you don't move in this direction, we are wasting our time. Your last guess, what we are talking here, that look, it, seven months with elections, we don't even know the candidates. You, ca you cannot know because the policy is sick. We are at the edge of the precipice. The other thing virtually collapsing is just the optimism of the grid that's keeping the same on. Okay, let's see, maybe it will happen. Maybe I'm going to get it, get there. But, and that's why I've been telling people that at this stage of Nigeria, we need a third political party. A third one? Yes. 
and that third political party is the party of patriots, of statesmen who can look beyond all these shenanigans of elections, offices, I want to be president, I want to be governor, I want to be this. So no, that we don't have a stable polity. There's no way to play politics. Do they have to be? Which is explain why why you don't know your candidate seven months to elections. Do they have to be a political party? What if they have or what we have uh, the independent candidate option? No, no. I'm not. When I say third party, I'm not saying a political party. That's a third party, a party of patriots. It's not a party of elections. It's a party about the polity. That we must face this country. We must rescue this country from this degradation. We must go on a new paradigm. That party, that party I'm talking about, that you're just the word party. It's a party of patriots. Who are not looking for offices? Okay, so they could be in the presently constituted political parties. Oh, they can be. They can be outside they it. They can, they, they, people are not interested in in in, in, in a later contest. But there are people who are focused on this policy, because without the policy, we can't address governance. We can't address good things. All, all the other things we cannot do, do this. Like I said, it's about software and hardware. If you don't have a hardware, there's nowhere to put the software. Do you, what would you say, uh, just quickly, because I've heard you recount the many successes, you know, in your opinion, yeah. that this conference achieved and why you believe that Nigerians should run with it. Yeah. Uh, one of the areas, though, which you admit you, you encountered stormy waters was the, was the principle of derivation. Yeah. How would you say, why do you think that the conference felt the need to retain that particular principle? Because some people will argue that if you had looked at the principle itself and you know, maybe decided on what the owners or what the people in the Niger Delta have been saying in terms of if you produce this, produce it but pay royalties, then we would not be talking about derivation at all. That's the source control. Derivation is that, okay, you, the, the center collects brands and everything and the rest and then pay a certain return, uh, a, a percentage mm -hmm. to areas where resources are derived. Mm -hmm. But why the issue is so contentious is because okay, if I say that, okay, every afternoon, let's share, let's share lunch. And every afternoon, you are the one providing the lunch. I'm just eating. We are not sharing lunch. I'm just uh, uh, living off you at, at long time, and that's the problem of Nigeria, which explains why, from 88 to this conference, the revision has been a very contentious issue. In 1988, during the uh, Babangida's uh, uh, Constitutional Assembly, they were unable to agree on the, what the revision should be. In uh, 1994, in the Abacha Conference, the revision was going to also end that conference. Then, at the point, they set up a nine man committee to go and look at the matter. That committee also was going to run into trouble. In fact, they are going to disperse until the late Major General Shi Musa Yadwa. So, okay, there are nine of us here. Let everybody write on the piece of paper what should be the derivation formula, which they did. And when you collect the figures, he added it up, divided by nine, it came to 12.3. It was the former governor of River State, Dr. Peter Odili, who now said, well, why don't we end up to 13? That's why we arrived at present 13%. In 2005, the conference collapsed over the division. And this conference, after you have passed all these historical resolutions, after you have discussed the report on 19 to 3 quarters committee, on this issue of the division, those who wanted to reverse the decision we have taken, now wanted to scour through the entire conference on the basis of the derivation. And by bringing this 5% insurgency or what I call Boko Haram Fund, because when you say national intervention fund 5%, then it should be, you now insist, that, that phone should be for North East, North West, and North Central. You are saying that we should make insurgency a first line charge in a concern. And that's why we kicked and said, okay, let's go back to the president to decide, set up a committee to decide what derivation should be. Already the concern says that derivation should not be less than 30%, 13%. It does not say it should not be more than. So let the president go and decide. Do you think that yeah. the principle should continue to be derivation? Well, for now, I believe that uh, because we also want to keep the country together, it should be derivation for now. But down the line, we should move to resource control. The reason why we cannot do resource control immediately is that, like I, t like I told you earlier, a lot of the states are not bringing anything to the table. They are just sharing. And I give for instance, if you look at the figures of what was shared between 2009 and 2012, four years. On the average in each year of, of those four years, South South gave Nigeria uh, sharing post 68% average. 
Southwest gave 23% average. Southeast gave 8% average. Northwest gave 0% in those four years. Northeast, 0%. North Central, 0%. Now, when you go to local government allocations, those who give 100%, take 46%. Those who give 0.0%, take 54%. They said, that's an anomaly. But we are saying that, look, okay, look, this is not sustainable. We must get to a point where we cannot continue this uh, feeding bottle federalism. But if we start that immediately now, you ask some you're saying with the health. So, so that was okay, for, 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 for a transition period. Let's have this derivation. How, long, see, how long will the period be? Well, you're we, we looking at me five years, ten years at most. Then, by the time we begin to now bring out all these resources from every other part of Nigeria, you see that every session of Nigeria will be crying that let us increase the derivation. Because in, in First Republic, it was 50%. When, when South was being West was being cocoa, palm oil here, granite here, but it's because it's only one source and a few areas that we are getting now. That's why everyone says, okay, Moshia, we must share. But people are, there's a culture of indolence that's going in national culture of what Gandhi called West without work. If you want to spend, you want to write the, the, the governors to their flight jet while the place and the rest. But what, they, what are they bringing out? So, on t so on t we need to address that to know that we need to sh to increase prosperity, and that's why some of us said for, for those who said, okay, we want five uh, percent of the budget for insurgency. Say no, you can have you can have five percent for insurgency. Go under your soil, bring out the minerals there, and ask for fifty percent derivation, ask for resource control, but not to use terrorism. To have us revenue. Well, what we are saying, once we approve that, is that we are saying anybody that wants to access money from the federal should go and start terrorism on insurgency. It's not acceptable. Mm -hmm.